Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon, and I'm Dex. Um, one of the things we've been working on is two-hand whip work and figuring out different ways that we can improve our skills, increase our muscle memory, improve our finesse. And one of the things I came upon was using a full-length mirror because when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I can see the entire length of the whip travel, both behind me and as it rolls forward, and I can make instantaneous slight adjustments. So I'm gonna hopefully you can see what I'm talking about, but as I start my whips in motion, I can observe the whip traveling back over my shoulder, and I can adjust the throw and make instantaneous adjustments and improvements to try to improve my skill. Ideally, I want to achieve a rolling U-shape, or you might look at it as a C-shape. As the whip rolls out toward its target, I want it to be a continuous rolling U-shape, and I want to replicate that U-shape on both sides. So my left hand is my off hand and my right hand is my dominant hand so I'm more comfortable with the right hand so when I'm practicing I'm just focused almost completely on what the left hand's doing but the whole idea of the mirror is it allows me to see the whip in motion instantaneously make a correction and see if that correction improves the travel of the whip control of the whip. If it didn't, then I can go back the other way. So I like being able to throw <clears throat> into a full length mirror. I just wanted to share that practice suggestion. I think it would work with both single handed and two hand work, but I came across it as we're continuing to work on throwing two hand whips in the dungeon. As always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon.